There he is. There's the real Muhammad Sano. Come on in, buddy. <laughs> you can sit down like right them. here. Like... What's up, man? How young this kid <laughs> is, my guy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? All right, you sit right there. Oh, thank you. Nice. Bro. Rutgers kid. See, this is my connection with Muhammad. Right. He went to a great Jersey college, legendary Rutgers. Now, uh, you play under uh, you played under uh, Shiana, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. What was that like? A guy? He was a great guy. Great yeah, guy. You know, yeah. taught us a lot. You think he's gonna make it in the pros long term? I think so. I like I like the way he, he coaches. You know, I think he's a solid guy. He is. You know, he has a lot of philosophies that I think will benefit in the NFL. Right. So the Rutgers experience was good for you. you it's definitely it. good. I, I enjoyed it. So you're coming off an injury, right? Yep. Now, uh, I thought uh, Gary here, that's Gary Owen. He's a really great comedian. He's a Cincinnati guy, and he's a huge, huge. Bengals fan. So I, I told him he could hang out and uh, talk to you a little bit. Uh, you psyched for coming back? You, you, I mean, how you feeling I mentally? Feel, I mean, you know. I felt great. Um, it's just, it was, it was rough getting that injury towards the end of the year, and now I'm just excited just to come back and make sure I, I make a bigger impact this year than yeah. I did last year. Well, what he do you think about just, that? He was just coming into his own. It, 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 it seemed to me, and I'm just a fan looking at it, it seemed right. like he was like he was getting the playbook, the plays was coming, he was like, he was a hybrid, they had him throwing the ball, they had him running at some point. Oh, he's point. sitting right here, talk to him. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. <laughs> he's I can't third person, man. Like I, was, I, I was at the game, I was at the Redskins game, first play of the game, we threw it to AG, oh, it was awesome. Place just got silent. Right. And I was like, wait a minute. Dalton's a wide receiver. <laughs> just drop back. So how many years you been in the NFL now, Marlon? Oh, this is my rookie year. That was your rookie year. So. He had the prank played on him, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. now, so I'll explain this. So the, the eve of the NFL draft, somebody calls you, a prank caller, mm -hmm. and says what? This is really disgusting. Uh, got, well, what happened? Well, I got the phone call, and my family went nuts. Right. Well, what'd they say? Well, they said they were Coach Lewis, and, you know, we are going to draft you in the next pick, and then... The person said they were Coach Lewis. Yes. And said, we're drafting you in the first round mm -hmm. with the next. <laughs> and, uh, like, and, and what happened? I, so you go crazy. And how did, when did you find that it was a prank? Uh, when we was looking at the TV and they called uh, Kevin Zeitler's <laughs> name. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so That's you're crazy. expecting your name to be called. Yeah. And your whole family's sitting there. And did you ever find out who did it? No, I, I never wanted to. My agent did, but I, I could care less. <laughs> Well, yeah, because you ended up getting drafted anyway. By the right. same team. Right. That's he, what's crazy. You got drafted by the Bengals in, what, the third round? Yep. So, I mean, you know, obviously you're fine. But uh, you see, you're a better man than me. I'd wanna, I wanna, <laughs> I would want to strangle that guy. No, you know, I had a couple thoughts run through my head. But... <laughs> <laughs> where'd, you, where'd you grow up? In Jersey? Yep, in what Jersey. Uh, I grew up in New Brunswick, South Brunswick. Oh, New Brunswick. Well, I'm a union guy. Okay. Uh, and you know my buddy Nicky? Mm -hmm. Nick Ferroni, yeah, uh, he's a union kid. We, um, uh, Yeah, so I, uh, I'm happy for you, man. This is, what an exciting time this must be for you. Right? Uh, it's very exciting. I'm just, you know, taking it all in and trying to make the best of it. What kind of a town is Cincy? You live there? You get a place and stuff? Uh, I actually live in, across the bridge in Kentucky. But What's that I, like? Is it culture shock being from Jersey? Oh, it's definitely culture shock. It's slower, right, man? Oh, my God, it's way slower. Like guys like Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Done. No, but the people are a lot, uh, you know, a lot nicer and a lot friendlier than... Well, that, but you see, that's the thing. Like, is it nice? You're right. And listen, I had this experience because, you know, going on the road, doing stand-up, traveling. And I, you know, I'm from Union, basically the same area in the Northeast where we have, like, this permanent <laughs> sarcasm and meanness. Maybe not you. I'm, I have a permanent meanness. But, uh, you know, and you go around the country and you realize when you get to places like Sandy, places where people grew up and it was always 78 degrees and breezy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, know? right, right, right. Uh, they have a nicer sort of thing, and you could sound mean to them almost, but the slower and the nice thing, I'm so cynical and jaded being from where we are. I think when you're nice to me, like you want something from me, like, exactly. you're, a, like you're a con man. Like some people are too nice, you know? Right, I understand. Like, you know, I'll sit at Waffle House and I have a full out conversation with somebody I don't even know, and I'm just looking at this dude like, yo, what's going on? What's here? your problem? Right. <laughs> so. Like, you're talking to me. I don't know you. What do you want? Are you, are you, are you, what are you trying to steal my identity? I just want my meal, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are the Bengals fans like to play for? Oh, they're amazing. Uh, you know, they show up. Hey, they seem like they, a great they, bunch, right? Yeah, they root for you day in and day out, so. We don't keepers. have the most attractive fans. I know that. No. <laughs> no. no. That well, stadium? Wow. Well, listen, Giant fans aren't a bunch of Brad Pitts and Angelina Jolie's either running around. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I always felt bad. Like, like uh, when the right before you got there, you know, the Bengals had, and, yeah, you, you, you could probably relate to this. 
Um, I always felt bad for Bengals fans when they had Ocho Cinco and Terrell Owens because that year I think they were like three and thirteen. There and then, wasn't uh, <laughs> there wasn't a white girl safe in the city. I know that. <laughs> I know. I get about eighteen years it's gonna be some mixed dude balling out on the high school football field. Like, who's your dad? <laughs> oh my god. Joe Matarisa, the comic Joe Matarisa, has a great joke oh. about that. Will Chamberlain slept with twenty thousand women, uh, and uh, like he believes it. He goes, "That's where." He goes, "All the illegitimate kids." He goes, "That's where the WNBA." Came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, you, you, so I mean, it's it's. Are you single? No, I got a girl right now. You got a girl, not a wife, just a girl. All right. Oh, okay. She's from do, Cincy? Do, do you go to the? Mm -hmm. She's from Cincy. Yeah. You go to the rookie symposium. Do they tell you about these women? You got to be careful. <laughs> they yeah, tell, be you, care tell you a lot of man. different things. They're just. I, I won't say who this is, but it was a big time NFL Hall of Famer, NFL receiver, and I had found out that he had. Um, that he had dated, I'm being kind with the word dated, but uh, dated um, this this girl I knew, and I met him through you know people that I knew in L.A. at a party, and I said to I said to the guy I said to him, do you know this girl? And he and he this is the exact sense. He goes he goes you know look I, I banged so many hookers I couldn't even tell you if I knew her. And it was funny, <laughs> it was funny to me that it was funny to me that he, he, we did, he didn't use I the can't word woman. Tim mm -hmm. Tebow would say that. You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> You never know, man. You never know. That's amazing, Artie. <laughs> but, but it was great to me. It was like he didn't. He didn't use the word women. He didn't use the word broad bitch. Uh, he said hooker. Like before. Like I didn't say he was. Like I mean, because that's how a lot of these women act. They act like hookers. They're gonna get called hookers. Well, a lot I'll tell of these you women what. Act like hookers. You gotta be careful. In Cincinnati, the the women are so thirsty, especially Bengal players, because you don't have an NBA team. Right. And, and, you know, you got the Bengals and the Reds, and it's very separate groupies. That's right. Cincinnati is <laughs> very separate. Cincinnati but, seems to go to market that should have an NBA team. That's right. They don't have an NBA yeah. team. Yeah. But uh, I tell you what, I saw a practice squad player leave with two girls at a club one night, and I go, yo, he's, he's not even really on the team. Right. No, you know, no, he's no, week to week. That's a good point. You bring up Tebow. Left with two chicks. Yeah, exactly. You bring up Tebow. That's why he's a weirdo, Tebow. How does he? Yeah. If the, the practice player's leaving, Tebow would have to, he probably has to bat women away with a fungo yeah. bat. <laughs> It's, it's effort not to get laid. Well, you're almost like this. Dude, Jesus sinned so you could do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was the point. He's not laying up there going, listen, he's literally about a third enjoy hour. He's like, I hope somebody gets laid. <laughs> Tim, enjoy yourself. <laughs> he's up there the fourth hour <laughs> suffering. Could somebody get laid because of this? I'm bleeding because of you, Tim. Come on. <laughs>